Hey guys, my name's Chloe and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am a physiotherapist and Pilates instructor. You can normally find me in Brooklyn, New York at the studio East River Pilates with that beautiful community. But right now I'm in my home country of Australia. At the moment, we are spending a lot more time indoors. So there's literally never been a better time to move our bodies, not only for our physical well-being, but also for our mental well-being. If you like what you see, please subscribe. I'll keep creating content for you and tell your friends. Enjoy. Mwah. And welcome to this all body and core Pilates workout. You can do this anywhere you like. All you need is a mat and yourself. You can lay out a towel and you need no equipment, just yourself. We're gonna move our bodies and feel good. So start in sitting. Uh, find a comfortable position for you. You can sit on a cushion if you like, or you can just sit like I am or with your legs crossed and take your hands, wrap them around the sides of your rib cage. Fingers open, close your eyes and start to take a few deep breaths to be sent to the body. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose, feel the chest, the rib cage expand out laterally, left and right. And then a long, slow exhale out through the mouth. And again, deep, expansive breath in through your nose. Feel the ribs expand out left and right, the breath open up the rib cage, and a long, slow exhale out through the mouth. We'll do two more like that. Deep breath in through your nose. Long, slow exhale out through the mouth. Imagine your lungs are like two balloons. You're filling up with air completely. Deep breath in through the nose. And long, slow exhale out through the mouth. We're gonna transition onto your hands and knees. I'll give you lots of modifications, so take them. Whenever you need, listen to your body. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. We'll start with a nice, simple cat and cow stretch. Inhale into arch through the back. Look up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, nod your chin towards your chest and round the spine, press the earth away from you. Inhale to arch through the back. Look into the ceiling, open through those collarbones and exhale out, round the spine. Pull the belly button up and in. Two more like that. Inhale to arch. Exhale to round. One more like that. Deep breath in as you exhale. Let the tension go from your body. Let it all go. And then come back to your hands and knees, your quadruped position. Now, when we set up for this position, you wanna feel like you're pressing the earth away from you. So push into those hands, lift through your chest. We're in a neutral spine. So that means we honor this natural curve that we all have in our lower back. We're pulling the ribs in, we're pulling the abdominals in and we hold it here. We extend the left arm and the right leg away, maintaining that balance, that stability through the body, and then with control, return that back. We're gonna alternate, right arm, left leg, extends away. Inhale to return back. Exhale, extend. Inhale to come back. Here we're strengthening through our core muscles, our pelvic stabilizing muscles, connecting with our breath, and everything's really working. It's really a whole body exercise to get the body warm, to connect into our six key principles, our neutral spine, our ribs, our head and neck alignment. Everything is really working here. Continue to go here. Visualize a full margarita balancing on your lower back. Don't let it spill. We've got one more here. On the next one, we extend the left arm, the right leg out. We hold them out there. Good, stay lifted up out of that stabilizing shoulder. We lower the fingers and the toes to the mat and we exhale to lift up. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Keep thinking about that margarita on your lower back. Don't let it spill. We'll feel a lot of work here, not just through the moving arm and leg, but through that stabilizing shoulder. Naturally, you all wanna sink down. We wanna lift up out of that shoulder. Keep pressing into the hands. The next time you lift, we're gonna hold. Hold it out there. Good, we'll flex through the back foot, reach the fingers away, and we're gonna open them both out to the side slightly. So we open out, but we don't take the body with us, just the leg and the shoulder, and then we return back to the midline. Inhale as they open, open them out to the sides. Exhale, draw them back to the midline. Good, this is our third here. Good, we're gonna go for six. So three more. And two. Inhale as you open, exhale to bring it in for the last one. 
bring them both down, shake it out, and we'll come straight to the other side. It will give that wrist a little bit of a break. We extend the right arm, the left leg back behind. We lift up out of that stabilizing shoulder here. We tap the fingers and the toes to the mat. We exhale to lift them up. Inhale to lower, tap. Exhale, find length as you reach, lift away. Pull the ribs in, pull the abdominals in. Really nice, keeping that pelvis nice and level. Bring your focus back to that breath. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you lift. This should feel good on your body, it feels good to move, good to work through those muscles. Good, on the next one we're gonna lift. We're gonna hold, lift out of that stabilizing shoulder, we flex the back foot and we open the arm and the leg out to the side. We pull them both back into the midline. We inhale to open, exhale to draw back in. Inhale, open. Open out as far as you can with control, last two. Last one here, we bring it in, we lower down. Open those knees as wide as your mat, sit back towards the heels, crawl the fingers forward and rest the forehead down. Take two more deep breaths in here, in through your nose and out through your mouth. And then we roll it up, walk those hands in towards your knees. We're gonna make our way down onto our back. So flip those legs around. Roll yourself down onto your back. And we're gonna come into some bridges here. So bridge is really gonna work into the backs of our legs, hamstrings, glutes, core, everything is working. Option here to reach your arms up towards the ceiling or towards the sky if you're outside. Good, your feet are gonna be hip width distance apart. Take a nice deep breath in as you exhale, flatten the lower back down in towards your mat, tuck the tailbone and peel up through your spine, rolling all the way up until you're resting up on those shoulder blades. Hold it here for a moment. What you want is a long line through the body. So we don't want to hit those hips too high because that's going to feel not so good on your lower back as we push it into that extension. So drop the hips slightly. Really scoop the tailbone under. So the work is coming from the back of the legs and from the core muscles. And there, then we're not actually feeling it and hinging into that lower back. So up here, take a breath in. Think about lengthening those thighs away from you. And as you exhale, roll down slowly. Upper back first, mid back low back pelvis roll to a neutral spine take a breath in and then exhale flatten the lower back down tuck the tailbone and peel it up good breath in at the top lengthening through that spine it should feel good and as you exhale round it down slowly upper mid low back pelvis roll to that neutral spine again great keep that going we're going to keep building on this but if you want to come back to these bridges this variation if that feels good for your body you can always come back to this. You could always hug your knees in towards your chest. You could always take a break. Whatever feels good for you. On the next one, we're gonna roll it up. We're gonna hold it at the top here. But if you want a bit more support, feel free to drop the elbows down in towards the mat here. We'll drop the hips halfway down, squeeze through your butt, lift all the way up. Inhale, halfway down. Exhale to lift all the way up really pressing into all different parts of the foot. So the heel is pressing into the mat, the toes are pressing in, the ball of the foot, the inner ball of the foot, the outer ball of the foot. And each time I lift those hips, I'm actively squeezing through my glute muscles. So they're working. I can feel those butt muscles working. I'm gently hugging the belly button in towards the spine to keep the core muscles engaged as well. On the next one, we lift up, we hold it up. All right, now if you wanna stay with those halfway down and up bridges, stay there. Good. if you want a little bit more of a challenge shift the weight into your right foot feel that right glute really fire up and then float your left leg to tabletop or oh, hold it there we're just going to hold it here and breathe keep pressing into that foot keep the pelvis level now the leg that lifts wants to drop don't let it lift it up good so the hips are in line if you're not sure take your fingers to your pelvis are they even make sure they are hold it hold it hold it and now go halfway down all the way up halfway down all the way up if you need to drop that foot down you can otherwise we keep it going keep it going for six five four three two last one now lower that foot down and roll all the way down take a deep breath in as you exhale roll it up tap that tailbone round up now you choose your arm position here either arms up 
or elbows in, you decide. We shift the weight now into that left leg, press into the foot, feel the glute muscles fire up on that left side, the glutes, the hamstring, it should all be working. And we float the opposite leg to tabletop. And we just hang here. We think about lifting that hip up so the hip points are in line with each other. The back of the neck is long, there's no tension in the neck and the shoulders. The belly button is hugging in towards the spine. And we're breathing and we're feeling it work, this isometric work, building strength through that leg and the pelvis. And now we go halfway down, all the way up, halfway down, all the way up. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. If you need, you can always drop that foot down, remember. We're here for another eight, seven, six, feel the burn for five, four, three, last two, last one, lift it. Lower those toes down, roll all the way down and then give your knees a hug in towards your chest. Rock from side to side. Whew, feels good. All right, we're gonna finish with some abdominal work here. Feet are gonna start down. Now, when we're doing our abdominal work, we wanna start in a neutral spine. So that means we've got this little bit of space, like a blueberry resting between your lower back and the mat. Hold it there. We gently draw the belly button in towards the spine, get those abdominals to fire. We're gonna take the hands behind the back of the head, interlace the fingers, thumbs down the back of the neck, and we peel the head and the chest up. Now, notice I haven't flattened down through that lower back. We've still got that little bit of space. Hands behind the back of the head, almost push the head back into the hands a little bit to find that little bit of support. Curl up a little higher, one by one. We float the legs to tabletop here. Take a breath in. As you exhale, extend one leg out to 45 degrees. Inhale to fold it in, and we alternate. Other leg extends, inhale to fold. Exhale to extend, inhale to fold. The lower you extend the leg here, the more challenging this will be. So if you wanna make this a little bit more challenging, aim lower. If you wanna make it a little bit less challenging, aim higher. So you're always working at a level that feels right for you. Watch what happens to the leg that isn't moving out. It wants to come in closer. Make sure the knee is right above that hip. Great, this is enough for you. Stay with it. If you wanna add on a little bit, we're gonna lower the head and the chest halfway down. And as we curl, we extend the leg out. Halfway down as the knee folds in, alternating legs, curl up and extend. Inhale to lower, exhale, extend. Inhale down. Exhale, extend. We keep that going. Good. Maintaining that parallel alignment with the chest. We're not rotating. We're just curling straight up each time. Hopefully you can feel it by now. Okay. <laughs> keep breathing. Keep it going. And now we hold it up. Hold it and switch the legs. And switch, and switch, and switch. Keep it going for 10. Nine, eight, seven, woo, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend those knees into the chest. Wrap your hands around those shins, one in each hand, and circle those knees out and around away from each other. Woo. Curl those knees into the chest. Rock yourself up to sit, extending those legs all the way out away from you. Sit nice and tall. Reach the arms up, lengthen through the spine and fold the body forward. Reach your hands, wrap them around your ankles, your calves, your feet, whatever you can reach and pull yourself forward. Shake the head from side to side. Let any tension go you might be holding, let it go. And roll yourself all the way on up. Thanks so much for joining me for this full body Pilates workout and come back. We'll have more fun. Thanks.